In this video, we're going to take a break from coding and we're going to talk about source control. And actually, this topic came up from a subscriber that emailed me and, and asked me how exactly I keep track of all of the versions or ongoing versions of my website. So I will show you exactly how I do it in this video. Now, the first thing I do is create a folder that has the name of my website. So in this case, it is called History Den. That's the one we've been working on. And then what I do is I create two folders inside of that. One folder I call Archive. And then the other folder is called Current. And that is the current website that I have. Let's just rename this to Current. And that is the current code that we have. So two folders, one Archive, and one that is called Website Current. And then what I do is I will take a copy of my current website and put it in the archive. And usually I will call this initial because this is the initial cut. So then I will, we will name it that. And so then you have a backup of your initial code. Now, what I do is, let's say I come in here, and I'm not going to do this, but let's say I came in here and um, let's open up our web page. And let's say I created a new content section. I added a third content section here. So what I would do is I would take another copy of this. I would come in here and then I would paste it in here. I would rename this. And then here I will actually put in what I did. So I will say added a third content pane. And actually I'll keep this, let's keep this sorted by date. And so what this does is, if let's say um, you find out like three weeks later that you had some bad code in here, you can go back to your initial web code, look at it, and do a comparison to see where you went wrong. So anytime you make a major change, you want to make a copy of that code and copy it in here. So you have a running list of exactly what you've done. So then let's say we came back into our current and we added another sidebar, a third sidebar. Then I would take yet another copy of this after of course the changes were made in here and I would go in here I would paste this back in and then we'll say something like added a third side panel and so again this is very useful if you want a running history of all of your source code and again by just copy and pasting the folder you'll have all of your files in that folder so that'll be all of your images all of your CSS style sheets of course your web pages and any other code, perhaps JavaScript code, a whole litany of other items. So again, that is how I do it, and I recommend that you do that as well to any websites that you develop so that you can go back and look at your code and see how you did it in a different version of your website. You may also want to uh, number these. Some people do that, so you may want to call this one like 1.0, this 2.0, 3.0. Some people do it that way, but I actually like to put in the subject of the folder uh, exactly what I did. So that way I can browse around these pretty fast. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.